Hello, and welcome to the home stretch of eBay Open Day One. I'm so grateful that you've taken the time to be here with us today. Hopefully, the content so far has been both informative and entertaining. You've given us quite a bit of your valuable time and attention already. But before we sign off for the day, there's still a little more ahead. I'm here to turn the conversation to international selling, something that's core to eBay. In fact, the very first eBay sale, the infamous broken laser pointer, was an international transaction, meaning cross-border trade has been part of the eBay experience since day one. And ever since then, we've continued to see the power of international trade. Listing and selling your items internationally is an amazing way of growing your business. And global opportunity is one of the truly unique aspects of the eBay marketplace. We continue to invest in ways to drive your international business. But before we dive into the details of that, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to start this segment with a personal story about why I'm so passionate about your international trade. I grew up in a very, very small village in Northern England. There's actually more sheep than people. And there are so few houses that they don't need numbers. They've just got names. And there certainly weren't any good shops nearby. There are only actually two reasons why anyone would have ever heard of it, which is maybe an excuse for a good pop quiz. The first is how a local would pronounce it. As you'll see on the screen, it's spelled T-O-R-P-E-N-H-O-W. But I think we can get some swag for whoever can first drop into the chat how phonetically a local would pronounce it. I'll pause for a second for any guesses or some rapid fire Googling. Okay, we'll see if we've got any winners yet. As I said, in good English fashion, the pronunciation is nothing like the spelling. The locals would actually call it Trapenna. Don't ask me why. And now here's the second one. Does anyone know what the name Torpenhow actually means? As a hint, it actually means the same thing three times. All guesses into the chat. Okay, so Torpenhow technically translates to hill, hill, and hill. Tor, pen, and how all mean hill in three different versions of Old English. That's enough of my trivia, though. Time to get back to international trade. So when I was growing up here and about eight years old, my dad, who was a teacher, got the chance to go and do an exchange program and work in a school outside Philadelphia for a while. And when he returned, he brought all these amazing items. There was a NASA Frisbee, scratch and sniff stickers, a set of walkie talkies and more. And these were completely unobtainable where I grew up. I can't describe how amazing, how magical these incredible foreign toys were. I vividly remember opening them to this day. Now the world's changed since I was that young. E-commerce has made it a whole lot smaller and a whole lot more accessible. But there's still something magical about being able to explore items from thousands of miles away to interact with someone in a distant place over a special gift, a rare collectible or a regional trinket. It's just gotten a whole lot easier than needing your dad to travel halfway around the world with his work. So moving past my childhood memories, that's the gist of this session. How listing and selling internationally can both take your business to the next level and enable that magic for buyers all over the world. We're absolutely committed to supporting your global business growth. And while most of this talk will focus on shipping, know that we support you in multiple ways. We're constantly advocating, domestically and internationally, to policymakers about the cross-border trade regulations that impact your ability to sell into other markets. As Jamie mentioned earlier, he recently traveled to Brussels, where he prioritized talking with leading European officials about regulatory efforts and policies particularly those that can unintentionally impact your cross-border trade. And we do the same things here in DC. You might be able to pick me out somewhere in the back there on the steps of Congress where we were there talking to politicians about exactly these same issues. And while we do all of this, we're also continuously investing and evolving the eBay platform to stay current with changing e-commerce trends and to meet the online shopping expectations of buyers wherever they are in the world. Most importantly of all, our work on your behalf is based on what we've heard from you, 
about the challenges you faced, both building and managing an international business. The cost of shipping, the complexity of paperwork, the worries around returns. Removing these hurdles is exactly why at last year's eBay Open, we were so excited to introduce our new eBay International Shipping Program, or in short, EIS. But before we go a bit deeper into EIS, let me quickly illustrate the nature of the opportunity here. We're constantly amazed at where eBay items end up. We've got flippers going to Finland, dominoes to Denmark, or surfboards to Switzerland. But don't just take my word for it. I'd like to let my great friend and colleague, Eve Williams, the GM of our UK business, who has a great perspective on the importance of access to US goods for her UK buyers, tell you more about it. Hi, Adam, and hello to all of you in the audience. I hope you're having a great day. I'm Eve Williams, and I'm the Vice President and General Manager of eBay UK. I'm here to share a bit more about the opportunity that you have as US sellers to access other markets and to bring your incredible inventory to a whole new geography of buyers like ours. So first of all, did you know that there are approximately 25 million eBay buyers in the UK? That's an eBay shopper in almost every UK household. We're famous amongst our British customers for offering great value first and foremost. This has been amplified by the cost of living crisis that's been worsening in the past year, causing bills and necessities to skyrocket in price. But for our buyers, looking for low prices doesn't mean ignoring their other values. In the UK, we now see pre-loved and refurbished inventory being among our most sought after as shoppers look to reduce the impact of their purchases on not only their wallets, but also on the planet. We heard from British consumers this time last year that almost 40% plan to shop pre-loved and refurbished products on Black Friday. And as costs rise, I expect this number will too as we head into the peak trading period. Take our fashion buyers as a great example of this. We're seeing a significant behaviour change towards shopping for pre-loved clothing in the UK, which I think has been accelerated in part by eBay's disruptive pre-loved fashion partnership with the iconic reality show Love Island. For fashionistas in the UK today, buying pre-loved means getting their dream outfits at a lower price point, while also avoiding the negative environmental impact of buying fast fashion. The UK is also home to lots of passionate collectors that definitely don't let borders get in their way. Just the other day, I was hearing about two of our British customers who are brothers that have built one of the largest collections of Pokemon cards in the world, many of which they've travelled overseas to acquire or had shipped across continents. Our market is full of buyers with that same passion, whether they shop collectibles, fashion, homeware or refurbished tech. So don't miss out on unlocking them as your customers. I'll hand you back to Adam now to deep dive into how you can get started trading with us. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the sessions. Thanks, Eve. Amazing to think that there's an eBay shop in almost every UK household. That's an opportunity in itself. But there's a whole other world out there. More than 200 other countries and markets to reach, in fact. Consumers from almost everywhere are increasingly seeking items at lower prices searching for goods that are scarce at home, and hunting for products from well-known brands abroad that maybe don't ship internationally themselves, or that charge an arm and a leg to do so. In 2022 alone, cross-border trade drove roughly 20% of eBay's GMV. And this isn't just an eBay phenomenon. According to Juniper Research, the value of cross-border e-commerce will exceed $2.1 trillion by the end of this year. For, oh, there's a world of export opportunities out there for almost every category. So no matter what you sell, whether it's motors, parts and accessories, collectibles, fashion, electronics and more, our goal is to help you reach the millions of buyers that are out there around the globe to literally unlock the world for you. As you see, we have remarkable opportunities in so many regions to encourage you to make your inventory visible and accessible to these other markets, we've made significant investments to streamline your shipping experience. Last year, we transformed the international selling, selling experience by making cross-border shipping as straightforward as domestic. In a nutshell, eBay international shipping was built to remove all your risk, all of it. So all you do with your inventory is this, list it, sell it, 
ship it to a domestic hub, and from there, we do everything else. You still retain control of everything, like what countries you want to ship to. You're always able to fine tune your listings to avoid branding restrictions, regulations, and licensing issues. We prep your shipment for export. We handle documentation for compliance and customs related issues, including duty and tax needs. We facilitate and manage transportation and delivery to the buyer. And we cover items not received and not as described claims. Just get your package to the hub. From there, you're covered for potential lost or damaged in transit issues. If a return happens, the buyer simply sends the item to eBay and we own the refund. As far as you're concerned, a sale is a sale. You're protected across the board. It's an incredible reimagination of our international shipping solutions to make shipping look, act, and feel just like domestic shipping, and all at no extra cost. So, the upside, at the risk of repeating myself, is eBay International Shipping exposes your listings to approximately 200 international markets. That's 81 million active buyers in all countries where eBay International Shipping is available. And since launching EIS, click-through rates for eligible listings are 8% higher than our old global shipping program and other legacy international programs. Plus, on average, a 12% higher in conversion rate. eBay International Shipping is a new market benchmark. No other marketplace has anything like EIS, and we're already seeing the benefits to sellers like you. Of the US sellers using this new solution, we've seen an incredible 3.9 million international shipments to date. And as expected, eBay International, international Shipping users are seeing savings of an average of about 13%. But it's not all about shipping costs. It's also time saved. Less time answering buyer questions and negotiations, and less time handling returns and refunds. I could talk about my belief in international shipping all day long. But instead, I'm going to turn the mic over to one of the people who's possibly even more passionate about the topic than I am. That's Stuart Reichenbach, our Senior Director of Global Shipping for eBay. Stuart's joined by two of your fellow sellers, Jaron Moore, who runs the store Big Dreams, and Ben Gross, who runs Ready, Set, Resell. They're here to share their experiences and best practices on doing business internationally. I'll close by saying I can't express enough the massive opportunity we see for you in global shipping. So to hear more about this, I'm going to turn the mic over to Stuart. Enjoy.